Hello friends, welcome to Age Visit Dentistry. Today we are going to discuss important MCQs related to orthopedic appliance. Which of the following is a orthopedic appliance? Twin block, face mask, Robert's retractor, all of the above. Face mask. The appliances that produce skeletal changes by applying the orthopedic forces are known as orthopedic appliances. Most widely used orthopedic appliances are headgear, face mask, chin cap. In orthopedic appliance, the amount of force required to bring skeletal change is 100 gram, 800 gram, 600 gram, 450 gram. Four fifty gram. Force required in orthopedic appliance to bring the skeletal changes is about one pound or four fifty gram. For maximum skeletal change, orthopedic appliance worn daily for three to four hours, six to eight hours, nine to ten hours, twelve to fourteen hours. 12 to 14 hours. For maximum skeletal change, orthopedic appliance worn daily for 12 to 14 hours. Which of the following is not a component of headgear? Face bow, springs and elastics, cervical strap, face mask. Face mask. Components of headgear include face bow. Face bow consists of outer bow, inner bow and the junction. Then force element. Force element connects face bow to the head cap or neck strap. Then the third one is cervical strap or head cap. Skeletal class 2 malocclusion due to maxillary prognathism treated by headgear, face mask, chin cup, all of the above. Headgear. Skeletal class 2 malocclusion due to maxillary prognathism treated by headgear. Then skeletal class 3 malocclusion due to mandibular prognathism treated by chin cup. Skeletal class 3 malocclusion due to maxillary retrognathism treated by face mask. Treatment using cervical headgear result. Extrusion of maxillary molars, increase in lower facial height, move maxilla in distal direction, all of the above. All of the above. Treatment using cervical headgear result, extrusion of the maxillary molars that leads to increase in lower facial height and the move maxilla and maxillary dentition in distal direction. Cervical headgear obtained anchorage from back of head, occipital bone, nape of the neck, all of the above. Nape of the neck. Cervical headgear obtained anchorage from the nape of the neck. Then occipital headgear obtained anchorage from back of the head. Use of headgear is distalization of molar. Reinforced anchorage, space maintenance, all of the above. All of the above. Headgear used for space maintenance, distalization of molar, then reinforcement of anchorage. Which of the following is a reverse pull headgear? Cervical headgear, occipital headgear, face mask, both A and B. Face mask. Face mask otherwise known as reverse pull headgear. It used for the growth of maxilla. Hyalinization of period skin if force exceeds 100 gram, 200 gram, 250 gram, 400 gram. 
400 grams. Hyalinization of pedial scenes if the force exceeds 400 grams. Vertical pull chin cup derive anchorage from occipital region of head, parietal region of head, frontal region of head, all of the above. Parietal region of head. Vertical pull chin cup derive anchorage from the parietal region of head. Then occipital pull chin cup derive anchorage from the occipital region of head. Chin cup used in which of the following condition? Class 1 mild crowding. Class 2 division to malocclusion. Class 3 mandibular prognathism. All of the above. Class 3 mandibular prognathism. Chin cup restricta forward and downward growth of mandible. So it's used in class 3 malocclusion cases. It's all about the topic of orthopedic appliance. Thank you.